Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more FTL Captain's Edition. Yes, that's right. The punishment I've been getting in this series is not enough. So thank you, sir. May I have another? Today we are going to be doing, I think maybe a random ship would still be good, just because there's so many interesting options here and it gives me a chance to kind of play the game here. Although, I'm a little tempted to go with the Man of War, if only because it is a little different than how the uh, normal Slug A plays. And it gives me the opportunity to still, possibly, after all this time, unlock the rock type A. All I have to do is win, you know, the thing that's really easy on uh, Captain's Edition. Did I say Captain's Edition? I did. Okay, good. So we're going to be playing the Slug A today. I actually do not have any of the uh, things for the Slug B unlocked, so maybe we can get all that done too. But what does this come with? It comes with a light laser mark 2 times 2. Now keep in mind that these are lasers with three shots per charge so I hope that works out pretty well unfortunately because it's a laser it might not we also have the anti-bio bomb note not beam requires one power eight seconds notice that all these are one power weapons but we don't get to run all of them at the same time a dual laser two two shots eight damn or eight seconds two shots pretty nice all around targeting jammer and slug repair gel Kind of what you expect before. A targeting jammer attempts to scramble the enemy weapon targeting, disabling one or two weapons to combat power augment. So I think the uh, buff blob is what we're going to call this today. And the buff blob is a bit stronger. I'd say this is one of the first ships that I would call a pretty substantial upgrade over other slug ships. Of course, there is going to be some catches with this as there usually is for instance we do not start with sensors because it's a slug a and we're going to just have some fun so let's go ahead and hop in and press start and away we go because it is captain's edition we get to do some upgrades no we're going to socialize with the crew and you walk around the ship to see what you can find look around some more look we found a slug crew member and the slug crew members are to be found in fear informs you that he is in his personal corners conversing with another crew member well i guess i'm just being avoided how awesome. So I could start with the dual laser and then what light laser. I think that's what I want to do. So we'll readjust accordingly. Anti-bio bomb might be good, but it does actually take bombs. So we may want to save that. Regardless, very good, very good starting weapon loadout. And let's see if anyone will sell to me and we get... Well, let's see here. We can possibly jam weapons here. Let's go ahead and try it. We got the spare power. Your jammers proved quite effective. We jammed one weapon. All right, so we don't have air. What else is new? They actually do have mind control, which should be hilarious versus our slugs. <clears throat> let's see here, where are we gonna fire here? Probably wanna fire on the piling first, but no, let's fire on the weaponry. Okay, so one damage to the doors, of course. So light laser. Pew, pew, pew. Now here's the fun thing about the light laser. Is it's more of an anti-shield weapon. It does, zero normal, it does zero normal damage, but it pierces shields. Possible breach as well. That's why I need to read the instructions on these weapons. So you're not leaving anywhere now. Pew, 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 pew. You do nothing. Anti-bio beam does nothing. It's not a beam anyway. Okay, so first, first fight is a success. We don't get our air back though, so let's fix that. And Jade and Nelson will be on their way to future grand adventures in just a moment. I really like the level 2 door upgrade in this ship. I forgot about how nice that was. So 22 scrap to our name in a civilian sector. So here's a rebel ship. It seems to be refitted for transport rather than combat. Doesn't seem to want to engage. Let's demand surrender. Yar, you're prepared to secure the cargo by force. And they have, uh, well, it looks like some weapons. Let's go ahead and jam the enemy weapons for power minus two. Your crew reports the jammers are active, sir, but the enemy seems to be equipped with very advanced targeting systems. Still have locking us with their full weapons array. Not good, and they're trying to leave. All right, well, we shall uh, overcome. Now this is an anti-combat drone, so it's not really going to affect us very much. Fortunately, we do not have to power down for anything, so we will be firing the dual laser 
we have a bunch of little light lasers available, so if I do want to anti-bio bomb these guys, I probably could. I'm curious about how much crew damage this does. 60 crew damage out of 100. So I'm going to have to get these people in together now. So let's see, they do have a flak, which is not awesome. I don't like that weapon either. So is that a one-shot flak? No, it's a three-shot. All right. Okay, so pew, pew, pew. Down their weapons, please. Wow, really? Okay. This is going to be an interesting fight. can already tell. All right, so hopefully we get lucky on the flak again. I'll take one damage there. Wow. You all, I don't know. Okay, so these guys are just going to be able to jump away. That stinks. Couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. And I love how they jump away, but they still get a shot off. In fact, I don't really... I know I got some good dodges there, but I don't really want you on engines. Forgot about that with the slug ships. So, civilian ship. We can try the targeting computer again. Useless against more advanced targeting system. Wow, that's fantastic. Now it's two mantises. So two shots, one weapon down. You can try and repair all you want. Right in the shields, not great. Oh, it does no shield damage at all, but it's shield piercing. Anti-personnel laser. Anti-personnel laser. So, that's interesting. I guess I didn't read it very well soon enough. So the idea here is that I just killed a crew by shooting these guys in the face. We could go for that. I mean, we're not going to miss now. But that is 15 damage per shot plus possible breach. Let's biobomb it. Boom! And we get to pierce shields as well. And look, no life signs detected. And the civilian ship is like, we are scared of you. All right, so new plan. I like, I like the anti-personnel weaponry now that I know what it does. But the dual lasers are really good fallback. All right, so... Military ships, let's do what we can, and we get a quest marker, 15 scrap. Good early store potential as well. We may be able to hit that quest marker too, if we watch ourselves. This is not a good start though. Alright, so no shields. No shields and they have a beam. They have a med bay. Alright. So I guess we're going to have to dual laser it. Now if we micromanage this just right, we might be able to make something good out of this. That's a start. Alright. So let's see if we can get another dual laser shot in here. There we go, weapons down. Oh, I guess you know. Before I go ham on that, I probably should actually take out the med bay. But it feels like fun. Alright. Good start. They got their little beam back up, but that's okay. bombs away. See if we can shoot this guy down in just a second. We don't want to use a second bio beam because we're about to get... Oh shit. Mistime that just barely. Okay, so one, two down. Alright, that's, that's a little more annoying than anything. Okay, so we got one crew member down. They can't actually hurt us. So med bay down. But the problem is he's gonna be able to repair it. So 
So I need a little more weapon power to make this work. Okay, by the time I get this shot in, he's probably going to just... I'm going to go for one more major pew-pew here. But I don't think it's going to do much good. We'll see, though. It's possible. All these little light lasers, they pierce shields by two. It could be a good thing as long as he stays in that room. So, bang, bang. I didn't kill him. That's too bad. But I did breach. What? Oh, I'm a moron. That is what we call moron damage. Absolutely no reason for me to take damage there. I didn't even realize the weapon was up. So there we go. Gotta take a quick pause though. I'll be right back. So where's next? We got another store right here. I got a lot of things I could spend on. On this ship, you always want to have a good Sector 1. Ugh... I'm not going to do piracy, although slugs aren't supposed to care, but I don't have a requisition document. Two stores. Let's do the store that goes. If I go up here, I can hit the quest marker and probably the exit. But this store feels better. And you discover traders access to cargo. I'm just going to look at their equipment. So improved internal AI, internal drones have their movement speed, blah, blah. Sultan Shield bypass. Blah, 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 blah. I chose poorly. I could buy sensors, though. Hmm. I guess I'm okay, really, with everything. I'll just get some repairs. All right. Now, what does my ship really need? I could go here to the quest marker. I could conceivably run to the other store real quick. Don't know if that lets me get to the quest marker or not. And nothing here. There you go, hull laser. Pegasus, artillery laser mark two, requires four power. And normal damage of six, shield piercing of one. Isn't that fun? Pegasus missile, isn't that fun? Advanced navigation, sector scanner, radiation projector, constantly what was that sound? Sound like a cat. Oh, I hope it's not a cat. And hull smasher laser point one, which only does one shot, not two, so we don't really want that. I think I'm just gonna go with uh, keeping my ship as is, which means I wasted my time a little bit on these jumps. But we'll see if we can hit the quest marker before the exit. If we can't, we're gonna have plenty of time. So here are two weapons here. Targeting. Jammer active. Good effective target. Would have rather not had to deal with that weapon though. Alright, so they have no med bay. So we are totally going to do this. Since those are missiles, I don't have to worry about my shields. I just got to hope I can kill the crew really fast. And bomb the pilot. Don't know why you're manning shields. Oh, that's an Artemis missile. Sweet. Okay. One breach. You're dead. Two more damage. Okay, that's, I probably didn't need to fire that much. Two more damage, so I'm taking a lot of damage here. I don't know if I'm going to make it back from the scrap that I get, but it's a fun way to kill things, right? Maybe. Oh, right in the weapons. Not good. Fortunately, slug repair gel is good. Right in the weapons again. Well, this is fun. Okay, that's a really bad idea. I'm a little stubborn, so I don't necessarily want to jump away from this, but I feel like it's probably safer if I do. Alright, so shields are critical. Engines are critical. I can't dodge anything now, so what's the point? 
Boom. Look at that 20 scrap for losing half my health. All right, what do we learn today? Don't play around when it's a uh, missile launcher. I didn't need to take all that damage, but I did anyway. So I'm at 100 scrap. I could upgrade my ship quite a bit. And we'll get there before long. Just going to get some good old-fashioned repairs first. Let's see. That ship would have been a bit more dangerous had it, uh... Okay, I should have waited for the full repair. Now I'm going to have to sit here a little longer. But level 2 shields are my first favorite upgrades here. Level Leveling my doors and my weapons are also good things, but... I can heal you up, too. Yeah, a little embarrassing with how that fight went, but... It's fun to play with new toys. I guess. Don't have a lot of crew, though. I mean, what would have been smarter for me is once I saw that my weapons were getting hit, just jumping away to re-engage. But is that what I did? No. It is not what I did. All right. Pretty sure I can hit the quest marker and the exit in time. Of course, we got to get out of the star. Let's see here. And the ship will gradually overheat or die. Pirate apparently oblivious to danger. Moves in to engage. Let's continue. They have a bunch of lasers. We should be okay. We have lasers of our own. This is an anti... Oh, this is a... Uh-oh. Level 2 defense drone. So this is going to be able to shut down some of my lasers. Unless I shoot the light laser first, it's kind of scatter fire. That is not the place I wanted to be hit. All right. Didn't feel like that did a lot. Oh boy. Don't tell me this is going to be another one of those short episodes. Alright. Okay, so their anti-droning is certainly shut, is certainly making things a bit of a pain. I'm not dead though, but I can't really move either. Okay, their oxygen's down, which is great. Weapons down. Their weapons are desynced. So that's fantastical. Gotta try and hit the drone room, I guess. Where's their drone room? There's their drone room. Oh! Got it with something. Not really the way I wanted to, but solar flare imminent once again. How bad is this going to get? Not so bad. Maybe. Okay. Oh, they're trying to fix the drones. How fun. And heavy eye on Mark 1. If the other parts of the surrender would be better, that would be okay. But it's not, so it's not. There we go. They're dead. And look, now the ship has been empty of hostiles. You search it, you find a prisoner offers to join a crew. Hi, Walter. You have just joined a ship that is marked for death. And we can make it to the quest marker. And the exit. We can have it all. Except there's an interplanetary sense. You find the mantis and cat movie, there's far too many of them. You see a long range message back to the settlement with the findings. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do. Leave before they notice you, and they must have been focused on setting up camp since they got away. Okay, well. Doesn't seem like we're on fire. Good words to say for FTL. It doesn't really seem that we're on fire. And we get an effector mark one, which is interesting. The effectors. Basic ion field projector that pierces shields and continuously disrupts systems. Kind of the ion shots of before. Requires power of two. Maybe more useful than some of these. Doesn't really fit the flavor of the ship very much, though. But hey, we have uh, kind of limped our way out of Sector 1. We can go to the Pat Colonies or Rebel Production Zone. U4. 
I guess we'll go down here. If well, I mean, this could put us through nebulas. And what is our one of our achievements? Uh, jump to 30 nebula locations before sector eight. This is not the best layout for that. But we'll go for it up here. I've hit. I feel like I've been doing too many green sectors lately. So standard. And socialize with crew. The rock crew says. He's injured in one of the recent battles. You wonder how exactly the creature's body heals. The medical equipment aboard ship has some special devices to deal with rock men. Ooh, story. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got a few nebulas that we can hop into. Might as well do that now while we have so little fuel and so little health. And look, a rebel turret satellite. It looks like something we need to jam. I would have much rather jammed the burst laser too, but hey, who's, who's counting, right? Good thing is that we don't have to worry about uh, basic amenities like, oh boy. We don't have to worry about the fact that we cannot actually hurt this ship. That's not pleasant. I mean, I can't actually do system damage. So I think this is where I've misplayed a little bit and I need to put one of the effectors on there. As fun as the light cannons are, they're just not going to do a lot for me. On the other hand, this burst laser that gets to pick the amount of shots it fires could get pretty damn annoying. You can actually shut this down and turn on this junk. All right. I think we'll make it out of here okay. Maybe. Barely. All right, so ship we can't hurt. Next time we get to a neutral sector, we're going to have to change it up. Okay, so without sensors, you can't be sure, but the installation must be somewhere a few clicks ahead deeper than the clouds. Let's use our psychic moves, and then look at this. Uh, disruptor oil production here, you won't let it go to waste. Let's target the weapons, and we are effective at jamming. And what in the world is that? Is that a hull repair drone? It's a ship repair drone. All right. So they still have missiles, which is a little annoying. And I guess if this is just a rebel production area, then our weapons are really obsolete. Well, let's see here. Unfortunately, the missile launcher is still online. Okay. Would much rather have that online. So let's go ahead and see if we can take out the shields. Because, un well, fortunately for me, this isn't going to do a ton as long as I'm not going to mess with the weapons too much as long as this stays up. But I'm just going to have to take out, I guess I'm going to have to take out the drone control before I can actually hurt this ship. So there we go. Cool. Why, why are you getting more drones? I'm actually going to have to fire on you until you're out of drones. That's going to be a little annoying, but that's what we got to do. Let's actually hit the right button here. All right, dual laser activates. I mean, they can't hurt me. I can poke at them very slowly as long as I don't miss. And because it doesn't have piloting, I shouldn't be missing. Okay, it got one repair in. So it just respawns every time where it disappears. So I should be able to knock it out before it repairs down here. So that is a fantastic solution. Two more shots, resisted, mother bleeper. All right. Nice thing is that I'm not getting missiles, because if I was getting hit by missiles all the time, this would be a far different, far more annoying fight. So Nelson, you're hurt. Let's just heal you up real quick. Pew pew. All right. Barely got it. And the engineering station ceases function and we get stuff. All right, ship effector. Let's take out one of these. Bio bomb may still be useful in conjunction with the light laser, but it's interesting. But I think this is probably the better solution. I could go ahead and get four weapon power as well, just so I can have both of these up at the same time. Very glass cannon of me, but let's do it. 
All the nebula. Some of the nebula. Okay, you jump into a quiet area. And the rock crew says it's content to serve under your command, so you do not judge it by its low caste. Okay, so they, the rock people have a caste system, apparently. We're down to two fuel. We're going to have to fix that. And here's another drone, because it's all drones. Targeting jammer. Doesn't work. So what do we got? We have an effector. Let's put that. Let's try and pin this system down. Nice thing is that there is exposed hull. So if I only have to worry about the ion, I'll be more than happy. Okay, FTL delay. Critical damage to is initializing self-destruct protocol. Yay, self-destruct protocol is delayed apparently by taking out the uh, the things. The engines, the something. There we go, all dead. And one fuel, and we get nothing else. All right, probably not going to get a lot in the way of shops here. Biggest thing is I just need to get a good fuel haul of some way, shape, or form. And here I go, another weapon thing. Can't really do anything about it. And it does have repair effect, so let's see what adjusting our weapons does to make this a better, happier place. Nice thing is my shots aren't going to miss. It's a lot of laser fire. Alright. Shields down. Oh, wrong button. Definitely wrong button. As long as I can take down some of their weapons, we're okay. I should be alright. Get a little bit of recharge. My two shields are definitely doing okay. So a little bit of repair. Hopefully get more damage in this time. There we go. If I can just out damage its repairs by taking down the shields, it's probably my best bet. However, by auto attacking both of these, I just miscycled my weapons, so that's fun. It's probably going to sneak one more repair in. There we go. Not bad. A little more fuel, so that's pretty nice. Guess we're going to go over here. Try and see how many more nebulas we can hop into. At least a few, but it's probably about time for me to call this a video, so we'll stop after this jump. There we go, four more fuel and everything else. We're at 50 scrap. We're doing okay. I could definitely use repairs somewhere, but in a rebel production zone, there's probably not repairs to be found. But that's it for now. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. We'll continue next time where kind of in perilous position from some, I don't even want to call it derpy plays because I, I did it kind of on purpose, but some not very effective playing before we're just like screw it let's just kill it anyway even though we're getting hit by missiles but maybe we've stabilized a bit i certainly hope so thanks for watching i'll see you next time